chapter 5 of John MacArthur's The Gospel According to Jesus, he's dealing with the issue of repentance. And in the chapter, he says that a person cannot be born again unless he feels the weight of his sin and unless he has a longing to be rid of his sin. So basically, he says one of the issues in salvation, and we know from the rest of the book that he finds many others, but one of the issues is you must have a desire to turn from your sins. You must have a desire to have a new way of life. Of course, in other chapters, he talks about submission and obedience and commitment of life. But here he's focusing on repentance. What repentance is biblically is turning from sin. That's true. But it's not a condition of everlasting life. It's a condition of life, of physical life. The Ninevites repented at the preaching of Jonah and they extended their physical lives. Had they not have repented, they would have died 40 days later. And Jesus points that out. And if Israel had repented, you wouldn't have had over a million people dying between 66 and 70 AD in the Jewish war. And so repentance is a way in which a person can escape ongoing calamity from their sins. But it's not a way to be born again. The person who lives an unrepentant life will have his life shortened by God and will ultimately die prematurely. And so repentance is a way in which one can extend the life, one to, can get back in fellowship with God if it's a believer, or take a step toward fellowship with God if the person's an unbeliever. What I find truly remarkable is at the beginning of the chapter, MacArthur uses this illustration. He talks about a man who was an owner of liquor stores and had left his wife and moved in with another woman. And he says, this man couldn't possibly be born again. Well, the problem with his illustration is, first of all, it's not sinful to own liquor stores. Now, I don't drink and I wouldn't own liquor stores, but I'm not going to make some unbiblical rule that you can't own liquor stores. And secondly, he says that if a man leaves his wife and moves in with someone else, he's clearly not born again. Well, there's lots of pastors that have done that. And elsewhere in his book, MacArthur says that it's possible to fall away for a time and then come back to the Lord. So even in MacArthur's own theology, a person who leaves his wife and moves in with another woman may well be born again and may be out of fellowship with God. What MacArthur does in this chapter is confuses fellowship with God from the new birth. Doesn't Romans chapter 4 and verse 5 say that Jesus Christ justifies the ungodly? MacArthur wants Jesus to justify the godly. But the truth is, we can only be born again if we are sinners. That's who Jesus died for, sinners. And so he paid it all. And the result is, if we simply believe in him, we have everlasting life. That's what Jesus said. He who believes in me has everlasting life. And that's true because of what he did at Calvary. And that means that the issue is not our sin, but it's what he did with our sin and what he promises, which is the free gift of everlasting life.